Do you want to learn a quick way to do weather routing for your next boat trip? Stick around. Ahoy hoy, I am Captain Boomy's professional boat floater and lover of subscribe button pressers and people who share my videos to other sailors who might find this information useful. I was teaching a Zoom class because I do those kind of things and the topic came up of weather routing and I just went through it really quickly because I thought it was something that people would know about but it turns out a lot of people don't so I'm making this video. If you're a newbie sailor, weather routing is a way to predict what the weather is going to be along your voyage so if you're going from point A to point B it might take a couple of days so it's important to know what the weather is going to be like as you get there. It can help you plan your passage better, maybe even duck in for a couple of days to wait out some weather and then hop back out when the sea state is more in your favor or the wind is in a direction that's going to be more comfortable for you. This is windy.com. I like it for no reason other than it's got some pretty colors. There's tons of other services out there. They are not sponsoring me, but if you'd like to sponsor me, I'm interested, mostly, especially if you're some kind of rum company. Hey. Now then, let's plan a trip. Let's say that we're gonna go from, go from Annapolis to Bermuda. And let's do, 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 come over here and grab our distance and planning tools. Take the distance and planning tools. There's Annapolis, and then we're gonna shoot down the Chesapeake, and we're gonna drop some pins along the way. Uh, let's drop that there, and let's shoot out the Chesapeake. Let's take a look at what we've done so far. Um, and then finally, there's Bermuda. All right, let's drop one over there. Whew, that's a long run. And so now it's asking me, is no elevation at all? It seems to be a boat trip. Yes, it is a boat trip. Let's make it a boat. And it thinks I'm doing 19 knots. Eh, let's do it in a sailboat. Let's do it in seven knots. That sounds good to me. Now you'll see that I've got all these pretty colors. I'm just gonna double check that all of these are in the units that I want them to be. So I got Fahrenheit, good. Wind speed in knots, wind gusts in knots, perfect. Wind direction, love it and waves in feet. I like feet. I'm totally kidding, don't send me feet stuff. And let's say that I'm gonna start sailing tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna shift this over. Let's say, oh God, that looks early. Let's say that I don't really get going until like 8 a.m. There we go, I get to sleep in a bit. So now I'm looking at my weather routing and I can see that the first bit of my trip, I'm probably gonna be motoring because we've only got like three knots of wind gust to six if I really want to torture myself, but I'm probably not going to get my boat speed that I'm looking for in any of here. So I'm probably motoring through most of the Chesapeake until, let's see, Wednesday between two and six. I start seeing some wind. I've got eights, I got nines. That's awesome. Um, and now we're on to Thursday and I'm about to get out of the bay. That'll be awesome. And now things start getting interesting. So I've got like sixes, six foot seas and 13 uh, sustained with gusts to like 15, 16. This is very doable, but it's gonna get uncomfortable. So maybe I'll just be hanging out in Virginia for a while. I'm a very wimpy sailor. <laughs> But you can see how this is a really awesome planning tool. It helps you to visualize what's gonna be going on. And additionally, there's one other thing I wanna show you. One of the things I really love is over here under more layers, you can drop down to currents. And you can change this visual to currents and then you can see everybody's favorite, the Gulf Stream. So here it is in all her glory and let's drop a pin in here and you can see yeah it's like three knots of current going north uh which if you're fighting that all the way south is a real pain in the butt that's why people go inside and take the intercoastal or they try to cut across it and go out to bermuda before heading south or they hug the coast a bit more where you know you're only fighting half a knot of current instead of a full three knots <laughs> it's just a little bit better so yeah, that's Windy. Again, there's other apps that'll do this for you. This just happens to be a cool, quick tool. Uh, you'll notice I didn't have to log in. I didn't have to pay anybody anything. They're not paying me for this either, so enjoy.
If this was helpful at all, share it with some other sailor friend of yours. It'll help me achieve my dream of one day being uh, invited to boat shows and not having to pay to get in. Also, I'm trying really hard to make more videos like that last one since a lot of new people showed up and enjoyed me picking apart a docking problem. But I'm having trouble finding ones where I can actually see what's happening in the cockpit of the boat. So if you have spotted any videos like that where somebody has a difficult time getting into a dock and you can see them on the helm, I would love for you to drop those in the comments and then I can pick that apart later and make a little video about it. And then you should subscribe and like this and share it with 10 of your friends and I don't know, buy my koozies? Do I have koozies? I'm out of koozies. <laughs> I think I still have stickers somewhere. <laughs> God, I'm awkward. Ugh. <sighs>